The earliest theories of the origin of life that are taken seriously today are those of A. I. Oparin in Russia and J. B. S. Haldane in England, writing in the 1920s in ignorance of each other. Both emphasized metabolism rather than heredity. Both tumbled to the important fact that the atmosphere of Earth before life would have to be reducing if life were to arise. This rather unhelpful technical term means that the atmosphere lacked free oxygen. Organic compounds, compounds of carbon, when there is free oxygen around, are vulnerable to being burned or otherwise oxidized to carbon dioxide. It seems odd to us, who die within minutes if deprived of oxygen, but life could not originate on any planet with free oxygen in its atmosphere. As I've already explained, oxygen would have been a deadly poison to our earliest ancestors. Everything we know about other planets makes it almost certain that Earth's original atmosphere was a reducing one. Free oxygen came late. It was a polluting waste product of green bacteria, at first swimming free and later incorporated into plant cells. At some point, our ancestors evolved the ability to cope with oxygen, and later came to depend upon it. Incidentally, having said that oxygen is produced by green plants and algae, it is an oversimplification to leave it at that. It is true that plants give off oxygen, but when a plant dies, its decay in chemical reactions equivalent to burning all its carbonaceous materials would use up an amount of oxygen equal to all the oxygen released by that plant during its lifetime. There would therefore be no net gain in atmospheric oxygen, but for one thing. Not all dead plants decay. Some of them are laid down as coal, or equivalents, where they are removed from circulation. If all the fossil fuels in the world were burned by humanity, much of the oxygen in the atmosphere would be replaced by carbon dioxide, restoring the ancient status quo. This is not likely to happen in the near future, but we should not forget that the only reason we have oxygen to breathe is that most of the carbon in the world is tied up underground. We burn it all at our peril.